Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to launch an EC2 instance and SSH into it. To launch an EC2 instance and SSH into it, we are going to follow these steps. First, we are going to create a security group and open port 22. Then we are going to launch our EC2 instance in a subnet in the default VPC and we will make sure we add our security group and a key pair. Once we have launched our EC2 instance, we are going to download PuDy on our computer. So if you don't have PuDy on your computer, I'll show you how to download it. Then once you've downloaded PuDy, we'll use it to connect to our EC2 instance. To start, let's go to the management console. In the management console, the first thing we want to do is create our security group and open port 22. So I want you to type VPC up here. So I'll type VPC. And I'm going to select VPC here. On your VPC dashboard page, on the left side, I want you to scroll down and on that security, I want you to select security groups. And it is going to bring you to this page. If you see a default security group, just like you are seeing on my screen, don't worry about it. Usually when you create a new AWS account, there will be a default VPC in your AWS account and there will also be a default security group in it. That is what you are seeing here. We are going to ignore this. Then we are going to click create security group. Then it will bring you to this page. The first thing we are going to do is give our security group a name. So I'll call it SSH SG. Once you've given your security group a name, you can give it a description and I'll type my description here. So this security group will allow access on port 22. Then the next thing you are going to do is select the VPC you want to create the security group in. Currently, I only have one VPC in my account. That is the one you are seeing here. So if yours is showing, all I did is I click that X button and you can see all the VPCs you have in your account. So this is the VPC we will use to complete our first project in AWS. As we proceed, we will create our own custom VPC. So for now, I want you to create this security group in this default VPC. I'll select this default VPC, then I'll scroll down. On that inbound rule, you are going to click add rule. Then you are going to select this drop down. Then scroll down. I want you to select SSH. And when you select SSH, it is going to fill this for you. The port we want to open is 22. So SSH is always on port 22. Then for source, anytime you want to SSH into your EC2 instance, AWS security best practice says that you should always limit it to your IP address. So for the source, I want you to click this drop down and select my IP. And once you select my IP, it is going to fill in your IP address here. That is all we need to do here. And we'll scroll all the way down and click create security group. And there you go. We have successfully created our security group. You can see it here, SSH security group. You can see on that inbound rule, we are opening port 22. And for the source, this is the IP address that is allowed to SSH into my EC2 instance. And I have limited it to my IP address. So anytime you create an SSH security group and open port 22, make sure you always limit it to your IP address. And that concludes the first step. The next thing we need to do is launch our EC2 instance and we will add our security group and the key pair we created in the last lecture. To launch my EC2 instance in this search box up here, I'm going to type EC2 and I'll select EC2 here. Then it is going to bring you to your EC2 dashboard. If you are not on your EC2 dashboard, just click EC2 dashboard up here and it will show you this page. On this page, we are going to launch an EC2 instance. So I'm going to select launch instance here and I'll select launch instance. It is going to bring you to this page. And on this page, we are going to select Amazon Linux 2 AMI. It doesn't matter which one you select. I'll select the first one. And it is going to be T2 micro. I'll click next to configure instance detail. And on this page, the only thing we need to do here is select this drop down. Make sure you are putting it in your default VPC. That is the only VPC I have now. And for subnets, you can select this drop down and select any of these subnets. 
it doesn't matter which one you select i'll just select us east 1c once you have select your subnet i'm going to click next to add storage i'm going to leave the storage as default click next to add tags and on the tag page let's give it a name i'm going to give it a name i'll type name here and i'll give it a value i'll call it my ec2 then once you've given it a name click next to add security group then on your security group page click select an existing security group down here then we are going to choose the ssh security group we created i'll select it by checking this box and i'll click review and launch so on this page you can review everything to make sure everything is correct and i'll click launch once you click launch it is going to open this page for you and this is where you add your key pair to your ec2 instance so make sure choose an existing key pair is selected if you select this drop down you will see all these options make sure you choose an existing key pair select that one then for select the key pair all the key pairs you have in your account will show up down here currently i only have one key pair which is the one we created in the last lecture and that is the one we will use for our project so i'll select it then once you select it click this acknowledge box here then click launch instances and there you go we have launched our ec2 instance to view your instance you are going to click view instances here and you can see it is launching my ec2 instance currently it is pending for the next step we are going to download Podi on our computer if you don't have it already and please understand that you only download Podi on your computer if you are using a windows computer if you are using mac for example there is a different way to ssh into your ec2 instance I will leave a link in the description on how to SSH into an EC2 instance from a Mac computer. To download Podi on your computer, you are going to open a new tab and in Google type Podi, press enter. Then on your search results, you want to come down to the one that says greenend.org. I'm going to select that one. It is going to bring you to this page and you are going to click download it here. And on this page, what you want to do is come to alternative binary files here, this section. And on that alternative binary files, you want to select the one that says podi.exe. And here you will select which version is compatible with your computer. My computer is 64 bit. So to download it, I'm just going to select this blue podi.exe link. And once you have selected that link, you will see that it has downloaded on your computer. To open it, I'm going to right click here and I'll click show in folder. And there you go. You can see that it has download Podi on my computer and currently it is in the downloads folder. Just in case when you click that link and you don't see it in the lower left hand corner, go to your downloads folder. Usually it is always in the downloads folder. So here you can see Podi is in my downloads folder. To open it, all I have to do is double click on it. And once you double click it, it should open Podi for you. I'm going to close this. The first time you open Podi, you'll see this default settings. Ignore what you are seeing here. I already have Podi downloaded on my computer, so that's why you are seeing the extra ones here. So just ignore this for now. In the coming lecture, I'll show you how to save a profile. Please remember that you only need to download Podi once. So anytime you want to open Podi, go to wherever you download it to, double click it to open it. And another thing you can do is, once you have this open, you can pin it to your tax bar so that way anytime you want to open it you can just select it from your tax bar the next thing we need to do is use Podi to ssh into our ec2 instance i'm going to close this then i'll come back to my management console on your management console the first thing i want you to do is select this checkbox for your ec2 instance then once you select that checkbox it is going to give you information about your ec2 down here you can drag this up and down if you want to see more of the information. Under this public IPv4 address, I want you to click this box. When you click this box, it is going to copy this IP address in your clipboard. So I'm going to click it and you can see it has copied the IPv4 address. The next thing I want you to do is open your party session again. Under session, make sure you are under session. Here, the first thing we are going to type is EC2 iPhone user 
So make sure you are typing it exactly how I'm typing it. You can see it is easy to hyphen user at, then you are going to paste that IP address that you just copied. Let me move this up. The IP address we just copied down here, we are going to paste it after it. So that is what you need to do on that session. The host name is always easy to hyphen user at the public IPv4 address. And once you've done that, the next thing you are going to do is come to SSH. So select this drop down on SSH. Once you click that drop down, you'll see auth. Select auth. And under this browse, this is where you are going to browse to where you saved your private key pair and you are going to upload it here. Remember what we said about key pair? We uploaded the public key to the EC2 instance when we were launching it. And now to connect to that EC2 instance, we will use the private key that was saved on our computer to connect to it. So here, you have to browse to where you save that private key. If you remember in the last lecture, my private key is saved in my downloads folder. So I'll click browse and I'll go to my downloads folder here. You can see my private key here, my EC2 key. I'll select it and I'll click open. And that's all you need to do to load your key in there. Another thing I always like to do in here is under appearance, I like to change my font so I can change my font to 18 and click OK. So this is all you need to do. Then you can come back up to session again and click open. And it is going to give you this information. You are going to click accept. And there you go. This is how you SSH into an EC2 instance. And this is all we need to do for this lecture. If this is the first time you are connecting to an EC2 instance, make sure you practice this tutorial a couple of times until you understand it. To end this tutorial, I want us to clean up our environment. So I'm going to close my body session by clicking the X button here. And I'm going to click OK to end the session. Then I'll come to my EC2 management console page and make sure your EC2 is selected. And what we want to do is we want to terminate this EC2 instance because when you leave it running, it costs money. So make sure you select it. Then you want to come to instance state and you're going to select terminate instance. It's going to give you this warning sign. We are going to click terminate. And there you go. It has successfully terminated our EC2 instance. To see that, you can click refresh here and you can see it is saying shutting down. In a few seconds, it will change to terminate. So I'll give it some time and I'll click refresh again. And there you go, my EC2 instance has been terminated. So make sure anytime you launch an EC2 instance that we are using as practice, make sure you remember to terminate it at the end. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.